In this video, we're going to be taking a look at which graphics cards to buy for a Hackintosh build in 2023 for best compatibility with macOS Ventura. First, if you're considering building a Hackintosh, forget about Nvidia. There's no support for any Nvidia cards in macOS Ventura. Apple hasn't released a new Mac with an NVIDIA GPU in almost a decade, and NVIDIA's own web driver stopped working after Big Sur. So, macOS Ventura is strictly AMD only. On their website, Apple have a list of GPUs that will work in any GPU enclosure connected to a real Mac. All of these GPUs will also work in a Hackintosh. Here's the list of those GPUs that Apple specifically mention. First, the Polaris and Vega cards are the RX 470, RX 480, RX 570, RX 580, Vega 56, Vega 64, Vega FE, and the Radeon 7. Then, the Navi cards are the Radeon Pro WX9100, RX 5700, RX 5700 XT, RX 6600 XT, RX 6800, RX 6800 XT, and the RX 6900 XT. Many other Radeon cards will also work, either out of the box or with minimal effort, but aren't specifically listed on Apple's website. These are the RX 460, the RX 550 with Baffin Core, RX 560, RX 590, Radeon Pro WX 4100, WX 5100, RX 5500, RX 5500 XT, Radeon Pro W 5500, Radeon Pro W 5700, RX 6600, RX 6650 XT, and the RX 6950 XT. And here's the full list of all of the AMD cards that will work in macOS Ventura, including the ones listed by Apple and the ones that aren't. You need to be careful with the RX 550 because AMD made two versions, one with a Lexa core and one with a Baffin core. Only the one with the Baffin core will work in macOS. You can tell which RX 550s will work by looking at the number of stream processors and compute units. The Baffin cards have 640 stream processors, while the Lexa cards only have 512. And the Baffin cards have 10 compute units, while the Lexa cards only have 8. The RX 6650 XT and RX 6950 XT aren't supported out of the box, but they can be made to work very easily by spoofing the device ID. The RX 6650 XT should be spoofed as an RX 6600 XT by changing the device ID to 73FF. And the RX 6950 XT should be spoofed to an RX 6900 XT by changing the device ID to 73BF. These cards are nearly identical, so once you spoof the device ID, they'll work without any issues. I'll leave a link in the video description to a guide that shows you exactly how to do it. You also need to spoof the device ID of certain RX 6900 XT cards. There are two variants of the 6900 XT, the XTX version and the XTXH version. macOS only works with the XTX cards, but you can spoof the device ID of the XTXH cards to 73BF and they'll work just fine. Again, there'll be links down in the description that show you how to do it. All of the Navi cards, that's the RX 5000 and 6000 series, will need the AGD PMOD equals PyCare boot argument to work properly. You can just add this to your config.p list along with any other boot arguments you might be using. This isn't needed for Polaris cards like the RX 570 or RX 580 or the Vega cards, it's only needed for Navi cards. Next, let's take a look at which Intel iGPUs are supported in Ventura. Out of the box, Intel HD615, HD620, HD630, UHD615, UHD617, UHD620, UHD630, Iris Plus 640, Iris Plus 645, Iris Plus 650, Iris Plus 655, Iris Plus G4, and Iris Plus G7 are supported. The older Intel HD and Iris 500 series will also work, but they're not officially supported and you need to use a fake device ID. For all of the AMD cards and the Intel iGPUs, you'll need to use lilu.kext and whatevergreen.kext. I'll put links for both of these down in the video description. 
For Metal 3 compatibility, you'll need one of the GPUs listed here. That's the Intel UHD 630 or Iris Plus and AMD Vega or Navi. Older Polaris GPUs are only compatible with Metal 2. There are a few brands of graphics cards that you may want to avoid as many people have reported issues under macOS. These are XFX, PowerColor and MSI. That doesn't mean that cards from these manufacturers are guaranteed not to work, it just means that more people have encountered issues with them than others. So to avoid a headache I'd recommend choosing a different brand. Personally I've never had an issue with Gigabyte, Sapphire or Asus cards. They just seem to work. Finally, to give you an idea of the comparative performance, here are the Geekbench 6 Metal scores for the most popular cards in comparison to the Apple M2 GPU and the 2023 Mac Mini, which I've coloured here in red. I hope this video helps if you're building a Hackintosh and were wondering which GPU to get. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.